Okay, so I have asked you all to turn to page 27 for a reason. Um, if you look on page 27 where it says, it's talking about a mission statement. I'm going to read this first sentence. An essential part of business is the mission statement, which establishes the purpose and values for which an individual or institution lives and works by. That is important. I have a mission statement here for us for this school, but it's about to change. And you all need to have a mission statement for yourselves, um, what you stand by, what you represent, and what you want to accomplish, and your goals for being successful. So, with that being said, we will be focusing on certain things here. And I came up with this over the weekend. We have our four commandments. All right. The first one, thou shalt be disciplined. Did I spell that right, Megan? Mm-hmm. All right. Discipline. So, when I say discipline, what this means is barber jackets properly, properly attired as a student. All right. We need to see your name tags because this is what the state requires. This is what CBCC requires. But you can't go work at McDonald's or anywhere else and not have on your McDonald's gear. So if you're a barber's, you have to have on your barber jacket at all times in this school because we're going to start getting you prepared to get out of here and to be successful. But first and foremost, you have to be disciplined before you can succeed in anything. Second, thou shalt be clean and sanitary. So, our stations will be clean, our clippers will be clean, our barberside will be clean, our everything and the method of sanitation. When you're cutting, the way you clean your tools, the way that you handle your stations, the way you store your tools, the way you do everything with barbering must be sanitary. And we will start working on that with you all more in depth with how we are going to proceed with cutting, setting up your station, and while you're cutting, even when we go to the soup kitchen. Because I thought about that when we go there and everything we do, we will be sanitary, extra. Well, I mean, we're doing good now, but we're going to go more in debt, period. Third one, thou shalt learn different cutting techniques. Now, we fade up, we fade down, we do all these different things, but what we're going to focus on even more is the way you do your guard progressions, because some of y'all can cut pretty good, you don't really need to know some things, but some of y'all need to know these things. We need to get more in depth with cutting techniques. We need to show you how to work down with your guards or work it up, either way it goes, we need to focus more on what you're doing as far as your fading, your cutting with your shears, all of these other things. That's going to be another thing that we're going to focus more on here. Fourth, the book, the book, the book. I cannot stress that one enough. This is what is giving everybody problems. I don't care how good you cut. If you can't pass the state board test, you'll never work in a barbershop anyway. I, I, I'm not even gonna mention names or whatever, whatever, but I got some students, I, I, I'm very concerned that they'll never pass the test, never. 
And I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to speak on it anymore about that. Because I was getting ready to say something else, but I'm not even going to say it. But uh, y'all know, I, I say it all the time. Y'all y'all already know how serious I am about this book. I stay on y'all about this book. We we going to stay focused in it. We're going to continue to focus on it. We're going to get more in depth. We're going to try to do more things. But my job is to get you prepared to pass that state board exam. But we will focus on the book as we already already do. But we're going to continue to focus even more on it. Um, these are things that going forward, this will be our main focus. We're already focusing on it, but this will be our main focus in depth more in depth on each one of these four subjects. These are our four commandments. Going forward. Y'all spell commandments right, Megan? Mm -hmm. All right. So, again, going forward, this is what we will focus on. That's why I wanted to record it for anybody that's not here. We're going to put this in the group chat. But, however, if <clears throat> there's anyone that does not want to participate in any of these things that we're doing, I mean, because, again, some of y'all can cut. You don't really need much on this one, but you might need some on this, and you might need some on this. But anyway, regardless, or, or, or this one, you don't want to wear a barber jacket. If you don't want to do whatever, that's fine. I will give you the number to the nearest barber school from here. But this is what we will focus on. This is what CBCC is paying me to do. This is what we're focused on doing. This is my job. I have a job. You have a job. Your job is, as a student is to learn these things. My job is to teach these things. And this is what we will focus on. And I can't, I keep saying it, I can't stress it enough, more in depth with all of these different things. And going forward, this is what we will be doing. Any questions on that? Now, the next thing. December. I'm thinking I got my date right. The 14th. Put this day on your calendar. I was just informed last week that the next state board meeting will be in Cano. That means the people whose names are on the license, every barber in North Carolina, will be in Cano on the 14th, including myself. So what that means is the barber board will be here December the 14th at 8.30 a.m. at Conover Station. Now, they're looking at me. I, 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 I would, if I'm a board member, they, and nobody has told me this specifically, but the other board members, I myself am a board member. My name is on everybody's license as well. If I got a board member that's got a school and we're like five minutes from his school, I would expect him and his students to be at this meeting. That's what I would expect. And so what I am saying to you all is we're going to be at this meeting. Now, um, I know everybody can't make it. Some people work our night class, some people work, some people whatever, whatever. But this is pretty as close to as mandatory as you can get. I can't even spell. I, I can't even spell. Do you have any idea how late it will last? Those meetings are usually about two hours, two and a half. What's making it come down here to Conover? What's that for? We go to different cities so we can give everybody an opportunity to go and meet the board and experience mm -hmm. the uh, meetings and whatnot. 
I mean, used they used to be just all in Raleigh, specifically in Raleigh. But now they go to the uh, last. I think we went to Monroe. Um, uh, one was supposed to be in Asheville, but that one got canceled because of COVID. Um, so we got this one here. They'll be in Charlotte. Uh, we'll be we 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 take these meetings. We're we're going all over the state. And no, I take that back. The last one was in Kingsville. Um, so we we go all over the state to give everybody an opportunity to come out, meet the board, um, experience a meeting or whatnot, and to um, get to know the board members. And so yes, we travel all over the state. And this particular time, it will be in my backyard. And if you want to, I would like for you all to be there. And like I said, this meeting will be about two, two and a half hours. And it starts at 8.30 a.m. A.m., not p.m. So, again, I don't know. I mean, sometimes board members make it. Sometimes, pretty much most of them come. I know the executive director will be there. Uh, I know of at least three board members. Um, I think I, one, I know she probably won't make it. Um, there are five board members. Um, I know Ms. Coleman, I, I can't speak for her, but I, um, she has some things going on and I don't think she will be there. But I know for a fact Dennis Severs, who is the executive director, will be there. Don Bill, who is the chairman, he will be there. Um, I'm pretty sure Michael Swinney will be there, another board member. Um, Sherrod Holloway, I'm going to call him um, today to see if he's going to be there. But like I said, this is in my backyard, so I will be extending every invitation to them. They may possibly want to come by the school. And so what I'm saying is you all want to, number one, make a good impression. Number two, you want to represent yourselves and your school well. And again, this is important. It is important. And it is almost as close to mandatory as it can possibly get. Um, if you want me to look at you with a side eye or be disappointed, don't be here that day. Even if you don't come to the, the meeting, when they, because they're probably going to want to come back to this school and tour this school. If they come here with David, why come ain't nobody at your school? Why come ain't nobody coming to school? Do we need to check and see if we need to see what's going on with them? Y'all need to be here. Even if you don't come to that meeting, you need to be here. This is on a Tuesday. We meet every second Tuesday, um, every two months. This is on a Tuesday. So how is school going to work that day? We're not gonna, we're just gonna come here after. School will open up at probably about 12. So again, you need to put that on your calendars. So Monday we gotta <clears throat> Yes, Monday. that is exactly right. That is exactly right. Cause I will not, you know, um, I'm trying to choose my words carefully. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet because this is recorded. Any questions about that? All right. So, again, now that we've covered all these things and we have an understanding of our new four commandments and we have an understanding of December the 14th, I'm pretty sure about that date. Can somebody look at that? Date. It is a Tuesday. I looked oh, it up. All right. So, yes, I am correct on that date. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I needed to talk to you all about as far as that. Are there any questions about anything that's on this board right now? No. All right. Well, let me stop this recording so I can post this to the group chat.